In vivo's Dynacad system offers tremendous flexibility in developing hanging protocols to fit your individual needs. What is difficult for in vivo and their application specialists to do, however, is to tell you what protocols you should use. Unfortunately, if you're new into breast imaging and unfamiliar with the Dynacad system, it's difficult for you to know what you want to hang and what are the capabilities of this Dynacad system. What we will do in this section is demonstrate two of our hanging protocols that we use with the Dynacad system. Hopefully they can serve as a baseline for you to develop your own protocols or to use if you choose you like them. Work closely with the applicationists and they can help you design your protocols once you give them guidance. The initial hanging protocol that we'll demonstrate is for use in axial parallel imaging cases. We will follow our general approach to image interpretation as delineated in a previous section of our training module. As always, we approach each case by first analyzing the one minute subtraction MIP image. In this case, you can see there is a prominent amount of background fibroglandular enhancement. However, there is asymmetric, more pronounced enhancement in a somewhat multifocal manner in the left breast. Utilizing this hanging protocol, color parametric mapping can be applied, and you can see that this does in fact meet threshold degrees of enhancement. Selecting from a pull down menu, we bring up our one minute fat saturated thin MIP images. These are reconstructed at 15 millimeter slice thicknesses. This again allows us to get an overview of the breast, however with significantly improved anatomical detail over the one minute subtraction MIPS. Again, you see the abnormal multifocal enhancement within the left breast. We use this as a survey also and film generally from superior to inferior for our referring physicians. We do this on all cases and allows them to become oriented immediately to the case. This can be saved in an individual file that can be viewed by your referring physician so they no longer have to wade through 15 to 1800 images per case. Our next pull down menu brings multiple acquisitions up simultaneously. This allows us to correlate from pulse sequence to pulse sequence the signal characteristics of abnormalities. Initially, we can evaluate in these two screens our T1 and STIR imaging. They're cross-referenced and you can analyze for the parenchymal density, evaluate for cysts and asymmetric parenchymal or skin edema, as well as to evaluate the axilla and internal mammary lymph node change for lymphadenopathy. Additionally, on the same pull down menu, we have the actual post gadolinium slice images correlated with the one minute subtraction images. Here you can evaluate the morphology of the enhancement abnormalities and if you choose to also evaluate the enhancement kinetics involved within the lesion. Also with this pull down menu you can see the ability to cross correlate with multiplanar imaging. As we navigate through the axial plane you see your location on an orthogonal coronal acquisition. Additionally, a sagittal high resolution fat saturated imaging sequence can be correlated with the lesions seen in the axial plane. This next hanging protocol is designed for sagittal parallel imaging. This is a more challenging hanging protocol to design. Our approach to imaging is to always, when possible, evaluate simultaneously the signal characteristics of the breast. As such, when we obtain our sagittal parallel images, we still like to compare right to left breasts simultaneously. You can see in this case the obvious asymmetry with multifocal areas of abnormal enhancement with speculated margins. Again, color parametric mapping can be applied to both of these abnormalities and although there is some background noise you can see that these areas in the left breast demonstrate high threshold enhancement 
with washout kinetics. Our next pull down menu in this hanging protocol displays the craniocaudal MIP reconstruction of the breast bilaterally. We generally film this for our referring physicians to give them orientation of lesion location within the breast. Although the resolution is diminished because of the orthogonal reconstruction of this sagittal acquisition, you can still see the general area of this multifocal disease. Our next pull down option in this hanging protocol brings up the one minute fat saturated thin MIPS, again reconstructed at 15 millimeter slice thickness. This gives a very nice detailed high resolution overview of the parenchyma within the breast. This delineates very nicely this multifocal spiculated tumor within the left breast. The next pull down option in this hanging protocol utilizes a dual monitor display. On the right hand monitor, we have our pre contrast T1 and STIR images. This allows for a survey of the breast parenchyma, assessing density and amount of parenchyma, as well as assessing cysts, parenchymal and skin edema, as well as lymph node morphology both in the axillary regions and in the internal mammary lymph node chains. Also imaged are sagittal Fassbinecco T2 acquisitions without fat saturation. Also on this hanging protocol, we have the raw data, one minute fat saturated post gadolinium images on top of the one minute subtraction images. This allows you to demonstrate the true anatomy as well as the enhancement kinetics simultaneously. Our last pull down menu adds to the previous screen color parametric mapping on our one minute subtraction images. Again, as you scroll through this case, you see this multifocal tumor within the left breast with multiple areas demonstrating high threshold degrees of enhancement and washout kinetics.